I want you to meet one of the people that inspired me most in the gold mines. So welcome to Mr. Stephen Francis, who is without doubt the world's most successful sprint coach and the founder of MVP Track and Field Club in Jamaica. As you can see, Stephen Francis doesn't look like a sprinter, and he never sprinted himself actually. He educated himself in statistics at the University of Michigan in the US. And coming back to Jamaica, he founded MVP Track and Field Club. And the real interesting part of this story is that he didn't take and recruit the best athletes. He took in second, third and fourth level athletes and made them world class. So nobody heard of Asafa Powell, Shelly Ann Fraser and Melanie Walker before he took them in. Today they're world champions, world record holders and Olympic champions. So Stephen Francis has made it his competitive advantage to identify and spot talent that everybody else overlook. There are typically two reasons why we overlook talent and potential. And the first reason is that we think that what we see is what we get. So if we have a sprinter here running 10.6 under 100 meters, and one here run, running 10-2, who would you choose? And the majority of people would take the 10-2 guy because he's the fastest. Stephen Francis would say, maybe, but not necessarily. When you have to spot real talent, you cannot just rely on looking at pure performance. You also have to understand the reasons for the performance to be able to say something about people's potential. So if the 10-2 guy did have the best coaches, the best training environments, the best conditions for developing, while the 10-6 guy basically trained on his own and not in a structured way at all, that paints a different picture of the potential. The lesson is, when you're going to spot talent, it's not only the performance that counts, it's also the story about the performance. So the second problem we typically face when we are going to spot talent is that we tend to overrate certificates and underrate character. So I still remember coming out to the training ground of MVP Track and Field Club at 5.30 in the morning and I looked around and the first thing I thought was, where the hell is the running track? I mean, all I saw was a big grass field. There was not even a proper running track. I told my taxi driver, please wait for 10 minutes because I simply think you drove me to the wrong address. I'll figure this out. 10 minutes later, I realized that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. We think that the super sprinters train in luxury, fancy facilities, but they don't. They train on a diesel scorched grass track and in a gym back from the Jane Fonda days with rusty weights. I'm asking Stephen Francis, why are you not building a proper running track? I mean, you are training the best athletes on earth. Why are you not building a track? Then he says something interesting. He says the biggest mistake you do in the US and you are building performance environments is to build big luxury fancy facilities. Because a performance environment should not be designed for comfort but for hard work. So he uses the facilities as a test. You don't want to improve them. You want to keep them simple and spartan because he thinks they give him the answer to the most important question. How much do you really want this? If you're driven by facilities and glamour, you will never go to MVP. If you really want to improve, he has the best development environment. It's a good test to see what are people really made of. They might have good certificates, but what is the character? That's the second lesson. 